Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial I will basically show you how to add images inside your PDF document in JavaScript and we will be using JSPDF library guys so in the last tutorial guys we saw how to basically add uh, simple text to PDF document now we will see how to add images using the same library JSPDF so we have the simple interface guys here you can select uh, images from your computer system and uh, let me select PNG image let me go to my this folder let me select this image you can see it's a PNG image and if I click on that button the PDF file will be generated guys and you will see the quality of the image looks tremendous your image has been inserted in the PDF document you can see that and now let me choose a JPG file this is now you can see it's a JPG file and now if I click so now the jpg file image file is also been inserted guys you can see that uh, we will see how to do this inside javascript we will do live coding here and uh, let me show you the library if you don't watch the previous video and we are using this library guys uh, jspdf it's the client side uh, library of javascript to generate pdf document they also have their uh, node.js package you can also install this using npmi but we will be using it in the browser so you can simply include the cdn just copy the cdn and include it inside your browser as we did right here so just put a script tag and include the cdn right here at the top and now guys we will do the live coding here and uh, let me just include body and html so now guys inside the body here we will basically have input type of file and also guys uh, the second thing we will also see basically uh, how to include uh, images from the URL in the PDF document let me show you uh, this is the interface we will allow the user to enter the URL of the image from the internet let me go to paxels.com and you, I can just search for any photograph let's suppose related to laptop and uh, let me want to insert this image what I can do copy image address and simply paste the address of the image click on this button and now your PDF file will be downloaded guys you can see that so now that image will be inserted in the PDF document so we will look at both the scenarios guys how to include the PDF document how to include the images from your local file system or you can include it from a external website if you have an image so first of all we will tackle this scenario of uh, this how to add images from your local file system so let me delete this and start let me include the body and let me format the document so inside the body guys we will basically have an input element input type of file an ID we will be giving uh, at uh, image input so that we can target it in right JavaScript we will only be accepting image files guys so we have basically given this uh, attribute accept this will a uh, validator we will only be accepting image files so after that guys we will basically have a button and we will say generate PDF we will basically give it an ID to it of as well which is generate PDF so this will be a very simple HTML guys if you see and uh, you can eliminate this break tag and in the JavaScript guys now we will basically tackle this button document element by ID and here we need to give it an ID which we given to the button which is generate PDF you will say add event listener so when we click the button guys we will basically execute this function generate PDF generate PDF so very simple code guys if you know basic JavaScript you will know how to add event listeners we are using this method click so whenever we click the method we will execute this generate PDF method and uh, now inside this method guys we will basically get the input image file by again document.get element by id we can even use query selector guys here as well if you know need to use query selector here we need to give hash symbol for the id 
or if you are using classes you will need to give dot symbol so instead of id we will use image input so here we are basically given the id to this input element so we are giving the same id here so image input and uh, after getting the reference what we can say we have a if condition here we will say that input dot files dot length is greater than zero so this simply is check guys if the user has selected a file or not in the else block we will simply say to the user please select a file please select the image file so what it will do guys if you refresh your application if you don't select it you will basically have this alert warning that please select the image file so this is the select statement that is the input file so it will return uh, minus one the value so now what we can do we can basically get the actual file which the user has selected it will be there inside input.files.0 this is actually an object guys input.files so we are basically getting the first value right here the actual image file and then we will use the file reader api guys so we will say new file reader you will use the file reader api here and uh, you will in instantiate a new reference making a new object to it and we will have various events guys of this reader object on load on load start once such event is on load so when the image will be loaded what we will say is that we need to basically create a new image using new image constructor and then we will say that image dot source is equal to event dot target dot result this is actually the base 64 code guys so of the image lastly what we need to do is that just after that right here we also need to call reader the reader object of the file reader object there is a basically a method either you can read it as a array buffer or you can read it as a binary string we will read it as a data url this is a base 64 code and we will actually pass the image file right this is very important guys you need to basically call this method so this will trigger this uh, on load event handler that you see right here so this line will execute first and after that this event this uh, event will take place so this is the execution of the code so after this guys what we will say is that if i need to console log this value image dot source just to see if we are correct if i open a image file let's suppose if i click on that nothing will happen but if you check the console guys you will see the base 64 value this is the thing i like talking about guys so uh, we are basically inserting the base 64 code in the pdf document by actually converting the image file to base 64 and then inserting it to the pdf document using js pdf this is the thing for every image file there is a unique base 64 code so this is the garbage code that you see right here this is called the base 64 code after that guys we will use the canvas api to actually uh, do this and after that we will also be having a image on load event as well so when the image has been loaded we will now inside this function we will create the canvas we will say document dot create element so this is the actual method dom element where we create elements dynamically so we will create a canvas element guys so we will say get context we will basically get the 2d context of uh, the canvas and then we will match the canvas width to the exact width of the image and the height canvas dot height is equal to image dot height so this is very important guys we just need to equal the height of the canvas to the equal to the height of the image after that guys we need to draw the image so there is a draw image function in the canvas api so we will draw the image on x coordinate 0 comma y co uh, coordinate 0 and then the width of the image which is image dot width and image dot height 
and after that guys we will basically have the image data variable and this will be we'll convert the canvas to th this is a function we will use guys we can either convert this image to blob or we can convert this to a data url so we will convert this to a image slash either you can slash here png or you can include it slash jpg so both the things works so now you will basically get your image data guys so this is your image data that you will get if you see if you now select the image file it is saying that ctx is not defined let me see uh, okay i think we haven't declared that yeah sorry we need to store this context variable in a variable that's the thing so if you just refresh now if i choose the image you will again see this is the same base 64 code guys that you will see uh, you can see that so now we just need to insert this base 64 code guys inside the pdf document so what i can say is that we can initialize the new instantiate jspdf library and after that we can simply say calculate the image width uh, image width will be equal to 90 you can give it this constant value depending upon the width of the image and height we will calculate dynamically so this is a simple math we are doing image width uh, multiplied by image dot uh, height and then we will basically divide this value by the image dot width and then that's all so now it basically contains this library contains add image function and here we need to pass the base64 code so the base64 code is already available inside image data variable so we will simply pass it as the first argument and then the extension of the image here you can even pass png but we will pass jpg the x coordinate 10 y coordinate 10 you can manipulate this also and the width of the image and the height of the image and lastly we need to save this uh, pdf file so doc.save output.pdf so this is a full code guys so if you see this is a full code if i just refresh now click and now your pdf file will be generated and now guys your image file has been successfully added right here if you see right here uh, you can change uh, any of these values if i change this width to 150 if i change the location to 50 comma 50 so the location of the image will change guys so all this customization you can perform guys so wherever you need to see your image you will see that so now this image will come right here so all this modification you can say and uh, now we will come to the url part guys so if you want to include uh, url so the interface will slightly change guys so what i will say i will again do the same thing here we copy this code right here and paste it here so instead of having this uh, input type element guys we are having a we will change this let me paste this so instead of having uh, this we will basically have this input type text and we will have this given a id to it of image url so here we will, the user will enter the image url if you open this now we can enter the image url so inside this uh, input text field so rest of the code will remain constant guys a slight difference will be there uh, whenever you basically the in this code so this will not be required so just delete this and here we will actually instead of up, uh, selecting file from the system we will basically get the url so we can say document dot get element by id image url we get the value which the user enter and here we will uh, have uh, if condition if the url is valid 
in that case we will actually run this file so we no longer need a file reader so we can eliminate that and also this also so let me just delete all this so in the else block we can simply say please enter the image url so if you see if you don't enter anything we can say please enter the image url so now guys if the user has entered something so we can say const image we can instantiate new image constructor and then we will basically have an attribute in this uh, image object guys which is called as cross origin so this you need to set it to anonymous anonymous and after that you can say image dot source is equal to image url and when in the image loads on load once again this function will be the same uh, the same function that we written guys for our previous thing how we written so this will be the same code we need to draw this image on the canvas so i will not write this code once again so you can see the same code will be required for this purpose also guys if you see so we are basically creating the canvas element we are having the 2d context then we are basically having canvas width image width canvas height image height and then we will draw this image on the canvas by using draw image function and we will calculate the base64 code by using this function to data url and then we will instantiate a new instance of a jspdf library uh, and insert this image using this uh, width and height you will add this image using add image function so if you just refresh now and you can go to any external url and let's suppose i want to this image copy image address simply paste the address of the image click on that so it is saying that image is not defined okay i think this needs to be image image paste and now you will see that guys your image has been successfully inserted in the pdf document so in this way guys you can basically add images from your local file system or you can add this from a url in jspdf library so this was a complete tutorial guys in javascript how we can add images inside pdf using uh, jspdf library please hit that like button guys subscribe to the channel please go to my website freemediatools.com to have free tools available related to all uh, utility tools are there subscribe this channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next video